Okay, hi everyone. Welcome again to the Specialized Automations. I am Aditya, and today in this video, we will be seeing how we can use the JavaScript in Python. Okay, using Selenium Web Developer Automations. So, guys, we have I have already shared a separate video of how we can use JavaScript in, in Java Selenium Automations. But currently, I am into the Python project. So, if you are not aware how you can use JavaScript and what is JavaScript, you can just refer this to my YouTube video, 10 Useful JavaScript in Selenium. Okay. Just search with that keyword JavaScript is good in In that video, I already shared all the things uh, how you can uh, get navigate URL page, web event refresh page along with the code that is available in Java. Okay, the same thing I'll be doing in uh, Python project also. Okay, for my Python project, let me show you. Okay, this is my simple test kit, my first unit. Okay, let me show you. This is a self uh, setup test class that is. Uh, starting the chrome driver and with the, all the things when they are getting started and tear down method is simply printing when the test is getting destroyed and this is the main class test navigate marker okay so let me show show you like uh, currently we, if we navigate to python in selenium so we used to write self dot driver dot get right this url okay instead of writing this i have taken navigating to the url then self dot driver dot execute script the window locations are providing the what about the url i'm navigating to okay then it's navigating the particular URL. Then I'm putting some slip command. Then if you want to refresh the page, you need to pass self for driver dot execute script history that goes zero. And if you want to paste the page title, then you have to pass driver dot execute script return document and title. Similarly, if you want to get some uh, button by if you want to get uh, some uh, web element using by, by ID. Suppose I want to get the search button by ID, so I need to provide the search button. This is the ID of the search button. Okay. So you can also face the web element this way. Okay. So I'm fetching the search button here. This search is basically web element. The good thing in Python is that you don't have to include web element uh, type object before. Okay, like web element type. In Java we used to write this web element. Okay, but in Python you don't have to write. It will automatically uh, hour up that. I mean, whichever whatever I'm doing and whatever the value I'm inserting, it will consider as a uh, Web element object okay then i'm printing if the button is found then uh, this button class i'm printing so that i can uh, show you that if the button successfully got uh, paged by the javascript so printing the button class so if you want to scroll down to your applications you can use a in javascript that execute script into the scroll back to particular coordinates and if you want to scroll down like scroll down to the footer sections okay like if you are having some uh, huge web applications that is containing uh, header, footer, all those things and it's scrollable. So if you want to click on the validate something on the footer section, so you can just use the JavaScript function. You need to provide the argument and scroll into view and you need to provide the element. Element just have taken divided file in memory XY, okay? Similarly, you can also, if you want to highlight the web element, you need to pass the uh, JavaScript function, this execute script, and you need to pass the argument, then web element, and then you have to pass the uh, attribute. Attribute are given as a background YOLO, color red, dotted, 4px. So it will, the background will be YOLO, and um, uh, red color uh, border will be there. And if you using JavaScript, you can also click on the particular link. Okay. So suppose I want to click on the Twitter link. So self dot driver dot execute script then argument dot zero dot click and I need to provide the element here. Okay, this is the element. So this is how you can also click on a particular element. Now let's me let me just run my program. Okay, I will see the result. So my uh, Chrome uh, mm, launched successfully. It's loading. See, I. Uh, throughout this test script, I already only use the JavaScript, so it's navigated into my make my trip pages. So after navigation, it will try to refresh the page. Okay, the page is still loading. Now see, it will uh, ref ref it will refresh the page. So page is refreshed successfully. Now it will print the search button. Find the search button. Now it navigate. Poll was highlighted. And click on the Twitter button. okay okay so my process has successfully completed okay so navigating the url refreshing the page page title successfully got found search button is successfully found and uh, scroll down to the coordinates okay it's so calling down the element through this follow us called successfully then highlighted the element follow us and then click on the tutorial link okay 
so my test was successfully passed so this is how we have seen that this is a very useful method if you are doing selenium automation using python so this is how you can uh, utilize the javascript function in your python okay so i will be you can refer this code to write your own javascript there are several other things you can also do okay so if you have any concerns please do let me know in the below comment sections and uh, if you like this video please do not forget to support and subscribe my channel so have a good day everyone bye bye